Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Welcome to Tuesday Talk with Mick and Alex. Today we're going to talk about losing that unwanted belly fat. That belly fat. Man boobs. Around your belly. Man boobs. Um, Only joking. You can't spot lose. Ooh. That is correct. There's no such thing as spot losing or specific reduction in the body. We get a lot of clients always saying that they want to lose weight in the stomach region, in the thigh region. Sometimes we had neck all the time. But don't be fooled in by the scams that they have like on the infomercials where they tell you that you can lose your belly fat in up to five days and up to seven days, all that kind of stuff. This, there's no such thing. Fairy tales. When it comes to losing fat, or actually burning fat, burning calories, the real only answer actually is through dedicated hard work. Hard work. Okay, so that's just hours that you put into your body with when it comes to nutrition and exercise, but today we're just going to focus on that exercise part of things. Training like a machine. That is true. You've got to train like a machine. You've got to bombard your muscles. You've got to work them hard. You've got to train them hard. You can't, you're not going to be burning calories. You're not going to be improving. You're not going to be growing your muscle if all you're doing is, I don't know, a workout once a week, doing limited number of reps, just playing with your phone. Oh my god, playing with the phone at the gym. Pet hate. Pet hate. Pet hate. Pet hate. Okay. To actually burn the fat, to actually lose those unwanted areas that you are not happy with. Oh, you need to recruit. You need to recruit those big ass muscle groups. You know what I'm saying? Big That's ones. Actually, the most truth you've spoken all year. It That's is true, Dave. That's true. You have to. You have to use all your big compound type of exercises: your bench press, deadlifts, big squats, lat pull downs, or if you don't have a machine, your pull ups. You got to constantly just incorporate all these different type of muscles. Ooh, They're called yeah. compounds because you're using not only one muscle group, not only two, but you're incorporating a whole bunch Compounding. of different muscles. When you're using all these muscles, you're actually you're needing a lot more energy. To use this energy, you're going to have to grab this energy from other places. And that means you're going to be burning calories, burning fats, all this kind of stuff. Burning the fat. The only way to actually spot reduce is through liposuction. Liposuction. How much does that cost anyway, man? Um, we'll talk to you. Later. Uh, he's had it before. That's honestly the only way. The best way, as we were talking about, the fact that you are using all these big muscles, all these big amounts of energies when you are working out, means that in fact your whole body will then start to trim up a bit. Your muscles will increase. Your body fat will actually... Decrease. 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 And, and that's how it works. And don't be worried if you're not losing in that specific area straight away. Because unfortunately... It'll happen eventually. Well, it will happen eventually where you will lose it. But that part where unfortunately you are holding the main amount of fat it's a very it's a very stubborn part but if you do incorporate all these type of exercises constantly use these muscles so come to the gym like four to five times a week if you can use it constantly let it get stronger let it build and <clears throat> through hard work through a balanced diet where you're targeting all those good nutrients 
you will in fact lose that belly fat, those man boobs, those big thighs, those, that rooster hiding underneath that chin. You will lose it. Anything to say, Michael? Speechless. Speechless. I leave him speechless. Thank you. Just remember, MCAP Fitness, why be fat and ugly? Just be ugly. <laughs>